We've invited some of today's hottest style influencers and industry experts to join us for a casual conversation about beauty, relationships, lifestyle, and everything that inspires us as we get close up and personal. Today on Close Up and Personal, we have Cat Gun and Mike Ross, who are pro gamers. The YouTube community, it's such a small world, we kind of all know each other, right? Gaming industry is small too, so I'm assuming that you might know my friend here, Mr. Mike Ross. Oh, hey there. Oh, hey. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Thank you for having me. Thank you yeah, for having thanks me. Thanks for appearing out of How's nowhere. How's it going, buddy? I'm doing all right. You just spawned here, like, hi. <laughs> That's what I do. <laughs> Keep your eyes open at all times. Yep. I love it. So Mike Ross is also another professional gamer. Can you tell us a little more about what you do and yeah. just how you do it? Um, it all started, you know, as a little bit of a hobby. When I was younger, um, I would go to the donut shops after school and use whatever lunch money I saved. You know, I would starve myself. That's a real gamer <laughs> diet right there. <laughs> and um, I would, diet. yeah, I would just play uh, Street Fighter nonstop and. Eventually, it turned into a point where somebody recognized and was like, hey, man, you're kind of good. You should go to so-and-so place, Southern Hills Golf Land. That's like where all the best players played. Oh, wow. And um, I was like, you know, whatever. Got nothing else better to do in my life right now. So <laughs> I went down there, and um, it was a tournament. And the very first match I had was against the current champion at the time, dude whose name was Duck Doe. When I played him, I actually beat him the first game, and that's when everybody oh. was like, Ooh. Yeah, that's, that's game changer. Yeah, yeah. Game changer. That's what everybody said. And so they're like, you know, you're pretty good, kid. You know, what's your name? Blah, blah, blah. And I didn't have a nickname mm -hmm. at the time. That's why I still just Mike Ross, first and last name. Right? <laughs> nice. <laughs> what character? Uh, at, well, the character that I'm most famous for, I guess, is E-Honda in Street Fighter. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. I mean, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, why not use them, you know? <laughs> but, um, yeah, so after that, it just kind of became an addiction ever since. I just mm. wanted to see how much better I could get. And where are you now with this um, adventure, crazy yeah. adventure of Mike Ross? Yeah, I know. Now it's like it's gone so much further than actually playing the game, you know. Um, I, I do YouTube videos as well where I kind of, it's kind of entertaining where people see a pro player, if you will, mm -hmm. playing at home in a casual setting. That's so cool. Yeah, you know, and they see me get frustrated, they see mm -hmm. me lose, they see that like... Slamming that controller yeah, down? Yeah, yeah. Game face. <laughs> yeah, you know. Yeah. Oh no, I don't have a game face, you know, I perfected it. You know? Oh! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfected it. Frozen. It's, yeah, it's just, it? it's just non-stop. <laughs> Like nonstop, you know, so it's good. It's good. And um, no, they just see that, you know, everybody loses and they see me get better and improve over time, and everybody at home watches can kind of learn stuff too. That's so cool. And have you guys ever gone uh, head to head in, in Street Fighter or anything? <laughs> I'm afraid I'm not going to play her. I'm not playing her. <laughs> well, he's a specialist. He specializes. Yeah, that's all I got. I only got one thing. Don't take that from me. <laughs> you got multiple things. Wait, what do you mean specialize? Like you specialize in a certain type of game? Yeah, yeah. That's the, pretty much the only one that I'm good at. Street, <laughs> Street Fighter. Fighter. Yeah. Um, you know, don't tell anybody else when that. When he's <laughs> good at it, I mean, you have 10 seconds and you're gone. That's it. Is it the only, like, aren't you good at Mortal Kombat? Well, I mean, yeah, okay, I like that, I like the reference. And it was, you were that guy, you were that guy at the, at the donut shop yeah. with the arcade yes. that, that was always there when I went there, yeah. and I never could play because I would just waste my money. So I would wait for people like you to leave so I could play by myself. Yes. Yeah. Speaking of wasting money, I mean, this is my personal thought. Okay. I personally feel like people who grew up in the arcade scene mm -hmm. are naturally better gamers because we only had a limited mm. amount of money or yes. time to play. Mm. Yes. That quarter lasted for one game and yep. if you lost, that's it. I remember there were plenty of times where I made it a goal um, if I was having a bad day. I said, all right, I got this one quarter and I'm going to make this last for two hours and that's what I would do. Wow. That's, that's crazy that you that. can actually like be like, I'm gonna make it last for two hours. Yeah. I, like, I just hope I can do it for two minutes. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. The arcade scene is, I'm s like, sorry to say this, but it's dying. I do love the fact that professional gaming brings that, brings the, the brings fans the out. Yeah, it. brings that that um, crowd back. Right, right. You know. You just look at how everything has evolved. Eventually, the arcade scene would have to kind of dwindle away because of the fact that there might be people there who didn't want to play somebody else because they right. knew that their quarter might not last or something. Give me a chance. Right. Give me a chance. <laughs> right, but now you know you can play at home 
and you don't have to spend a quarter, you just buy the game once, you can play it a million times, and you can be the best in your house, mm -hmm. you know? When would you pick E-Honda? Because he's like really slow. Don't judge E-Honda, he has a lot of <laughs> more to love. I'm in, a, I'm in a fictional world now, I gotta pick a character that's opposite of me in real life. Uh, you know? I gotta pick somebody bigger, heavy, and stronger. Gotcha. Speaking, <laughs> speaking of fictional character, mm -hmm. just a question. Mm -hmm. If you were to live in any gaming world, what game would that be, and why? The arcade game X-Men. Why X-Men? Because it had Dazzler. <laughs> she could, but it has to be the arcade game where it's like four settings. You, like, you can't play it by yourself, and you can never win it by yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah. Super Mario Brothers. Remember the, the certain like secret world you got to go to? <gasps> the Star World? <laughs> Star World. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes. And you had the purple Yoshi, the yes, yellow yes, one, yes. the red one. That's where Dun, I live. I love it. I love it. Yep. Yep. OK, Kat. Well, it's not too hard of a choice because a lot of them are like post-apocalyptic worlds, so right. I don't think you really want those worlds where it's like all just yeah. one man by himself yeah. trying to scramble mm -hmm. for food. So probably like the Final Fantasy universe where it really gets Ooh. Chocobo, yes. right? I all know, the right? Who doesn't know about a Chocobo? But which one? Oh, oh, which Final Fantasy world? Mine was Seven because Cloud's there and he's handsome. It's hilarious. And uh, you? I guess my game would have to be uh, this one on Nintendo called Vegas Casino where you just start off being this baller in this casino and you just gamble <laughs> all day. So I, 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 think I, I think I can make that a reality. That's a reality. <laughs> I think you can. I think yeah. that can actually happen. That's a real life thing. Thank goodness it's not Grand Theft Auto. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. Everybody's safe. <laughs>